Well, let's talk about the warrior versus the statesperson and my experiences with that and um, maybe some of the experiences that I've had with some others. Um, the warrior in my speak is generally from about 20 to 40 years old. And um, during that 20 to 40 year old time, as I look back and connect the dots backwards in my own life, uh, I was trying to make my way. I was figuring out how to make money. What was the right way to do it? What businesses should I be in? Raising the kids, getting a car, not feeling adequate necessarily about the house I was in, wanting to get another house. And I also, business-wise, chased, chased a lot of rabbits, you know, that I didn't catch, you know. And, um, and uh, when I started on the Inner Voice mission and I was introduced to the statesperson, now let's look at statesperson from 40 on. Now keep in mind, some people get statesperson at 25 or 30. Maybe some get it even earlier. Some never get it. So let's use warrior 20 to 40 as just a reference. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, warrior 20 to 40 is a reference, and statesperson 40 on. Well, in my warrior years, I was operating, and I think most of us look at your own life, we operate on human training. All we know is what mom, dad, brother, sister, preacher, teacher, peers put in our brain, okay? So we only know what's been taught to us. And in most cases, we're operating a lot on human character defects, not separating human from soul or spirit, you know, which we'll get to deeper. And I learned a lot more about this when I got to the discovery chart part of my training. So let me just plant that seed in your brain. When we get to discovery chart, we're actually going to have some exercises to do. And we're going to go back and identify fears and angers and resentments and what actually happened uh, as those dots were connecting to bring us to where we are now, okay? So in the warrior phase, we operate on selfishness, self-centeredness, arrogance, finger pointing, judging, blaming, criticizing, sarcasm, uh, throw in a little self-pity and a little victim there. Now, if we move that training on, if, if, we, if we look at the two billion people in this world out of six or seven billion that practice Christianity, they would know a lot of those defects by the acronym PAGLES, P-A-G-G-L-E-S, which stands for pride, anger, gluttony, greed, lust, envy, and sloth. Now, those are some great things for us to uncover, to understand how those work in our life, how they stop us in relationships, how they stop us from success in other areas of our life. Now, let's move on to the statesperson training. I learned about statesperson uh, when I got through my discovery chart. And that's something many put off in the inner voice way of life, but it's really not a difficult thing, but it's really going to give us really great access to who we are. And in the statesperson piece, after I figured out why I was who I was by doing my inner voice discovery chart, I started to learn about humility. I not how to define humility. Most of the times if I ask someone, you know, well, well what's humility? They'll start to define it. Humility is something we do. That's where we gain the power. When we stop manipulating, trying to control outcomes, recognizing you know, you know, that we have no power over most people, places, things, uh, most situations. If we try to control or manipulate them, then our life comes, becomes unmanageable. We fall into an anxiety or a frustration or a fear or a doubt. In the statesperson phase, we start to learn the power of humility, the power of tolerance, the power of patience, the power of letting go of resentments, and the power of, of forgiveness. Now, a lot of times when I'm training, I will get, uh, I will get the, you know, the classic warrior. He was 25 or 30 or 35, he's building his, start, his business, starting to build. Uh, he's got his purpose, starting to develop a passion, which we talked about earlier, really starting to feel strong about about, you know, who he is. He's like, Russ, well, I'm not sure I want to learn about statesperson because, you know, some of that stuff in my warrior seems to be working for me. Well, remember this as we get through the training, you realize we don't have to be one or the other. We can still have part statesman, part warrior be somewhere in the middle. The difference between the two is this magic finding. I can still be selfish. I can still be self-centered. I can still be arrogant. I can still finger point, judge, or blame. The difference is, once I have statesperson, I don't have to do that anymore. I used to have to do that. Today, uh, having this inner voice, principle, and strategy gives me a choice. And uh, as we pass that choice on to you through the rest of the trainings, I think you're going to find a miraculous power uh, in understanding the difference between the two.